ideas. What happens to our ideas once our minds have summoned them into existence? They rise up like balloons caught in a summer breeze. They scale our cerebrumbilical cords, those magnificent invisible conduits connecting our brains to the imagisphere. There, they collect, grow, intertwine, prosper, and form another world. No matter what trivialities the waking world throws at us, our ideas keep coming and adding to that world. A solitary notion on the bus, a random thought in the street, a surreal brainwave in a shop. Little Big Planet. Come in and make yourself at home. On Little Big Planet, you become a delightful little sack person. This is you. Your analog stick is your advancing implement. It moves you through the levels of the speed best suited to you. An ability to jump so high you defy the laws of gravity is a must-have accessory in Little Big Planet, and your action button will furnish you with this. Give the action button a short, sharp stab for a modest hop, or a hard, lingering press for a big boy bouncy bound. Fly, my pretty one. There are now more happy sack personages gadding about Little Big Planet than a 900-year-old hot dinner monster has had hot dinners. So you're going to need to stand out from the crowd and customize yourself. Press the menu button to access your poppet. Your poppet is your bestest ever chum. It's always there when you need it. So let me introduce you to this most useful bit of gizmotastic kit then. Use the analog stick to go through the various icons on the poppet menu. Press action to choose one. For now, select customize character. This takes you to your customized character pages. Oh, a quick tip. Did you know that you can use the page buttons to quickly jump from one page to the next? The customized character pages are a veritable walk-in wardrobe of styles and looks the modern sack person needs to stand out from the crowd. Use the analog stick to select an ensemble that not only takes your fancy, but makes you fancy. This is your little big boutique, an enchanted emporium of attire. To get out of Poppet, just press the back button. It'll take you back a level. Then press it again to close it completely.
Now, on the face of it, your average sack boy is an emotionless-looking little critter, isn't he? Well, you can't really judge a book by its cover because quite the opposite is true. By using your directional buttons, you can give your sack boy a range of emotions your average soap opera actor would kill for. Pressing the up button will make sack boy happy. The left button will make him scared. The right button will make him angry. The down button will make him sad. By pressing the directional buttons multiple times, you can make Sackboy even happier or even more scared, angry and sad. And if you hold the L button down and press the directional buttons, Sackboy will become full of life. Gracious hellos, wild celebrations, sultry dances and even cheeky little taunts are all part of Sackboy's repertoire. Yes, Sackboy, we'll make an actor of you yet. Now, on the face of it, your average sack... Little Big Planet, every day is International Sticker Day. Sack people put stickers on walls, buildings, creatures, creations, you name it. We're sticker mad up here. To join the sticker fun, press the menu button to bring up Pop It and go to your stickers page. Look at the vast array of sticky sticking stickers available. Pick one with the analog stick. Select it with the action button. Now, let's stick it to something. Move it around the world using the analog stick, like this. Holding down the L button will allow you to scale and rotate your sticker with the analog stick. Up and down to make it bigger or smaller. Left and right to rotate it. Then stick it down with the action button, which you can do as many times as you want. The back button gets you back to your poppet, where you choose another sticker. Keep hitting the back button to get out of sticker mode and your pocket. Stickers. Couldn't you just kiss them? Ah, at last! We've been expecting you. Welcome to Little Big Planet. You know, every living creature in the Omniverse has the creative gene. And when you visit Little Big Planet, the imaginatively charged atmospherics zap that gene into action. Your mind goes into make-and-do mode. 
And when you built something, created a puzzle, or made a machine, or devised a brand new level, your brain shifts into the next stage of the creative process, the showy-off, look-what-I-can-do stage. And why not? We are all aching to see what a keen mind like yours can come up with. But if your creative gene isn't zapped straight away, and you just want to have a wander about to admire what your fellow little big planitions have created, then that's fine and dandy too. So, what are you waiting for? Because Little Big Planet is waiting for you. We might visit Little Big Planet when the whim takes us, but there are characters and creatures that are always there. Keep an eye out for these things. Little Big Planet seals. They're kind of map references, if you like. They indicate somewhere wonderful a creator-curator has made for you. <laughs>